Hey everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing and review of the Pop Vinyl of Mirage. And this is Pop Vinyl Release 1375 and Mirage is one of the characters uh, out of the recent Transformers Rise of the Beasts movie. So moving through the collection of Pop Vinyls, let's see if I can make this one the quickest to date front of the packaging for Mirage, so standard pop vinyl packaging. We do have a nice image of Mirage here, as well as Mirage himself uh, within the box. Uh, interesting colour choice, or general absence of, but time will tell what that looks like. So that's what he looks like from the front, uh, the typical side, typical other side. Um, interesting pose. I think Scourge and Prime had more dynamic ones, but that's okay. So that's the front and side. Turn to the back of the box. So we just have another shot of Mirage there and the rest of the collection Sans Rhinox. So, Mirage, no, there, yeah, try that again. Scourge has been done. Prime has been done. Mirage is in progress. Uh, Bumblebee will probably be the one after this. RC will probably be after Bumblebee. And then it'll be Primal and Rhinox. So, box side of things done. Now the fun part. Get Mirage out. Have a better look. And with Mirage out of the packaging. So, first things first. Can he stand on his own two feet without any problems? The answer is yes. So in terms of Mirage, so here is Mirage from the front. I will admit, I do like how he has a nice Autobot logo on the middle of his forehead. So that's the front, the side, the back, which is surprisingly detailed, the other side, and then just a nice close-up of Mirage's head, which I believe is wearing a battle mask is quite common now these days um, although I've heard some people suggest that he doesn't actually deploy his battle mask in the movie you don't have to answer that question one because I haven't seen the movie so it would be some form of a spoiler um, but that's okay um, quick close-up on his actual body detail now I didn't actually have to crack it his head was doing it already uh, but it can swivel, uh, apparently, all the way around. So there you go. For the Mirage Pop Vinyl, he can do a full 360 with his head. Which I feel is probably a lot more than what his figure can do. I also just realised that this is actually completely asymmetrical. So yes. Um, if you want to diversify your posing. So there you go, the sole articulation he will have uh, will be his head can spin. Now in terms of the colour palette, so Mirage is predominantly a, and I will admit a very nice one, uh, silver. He does have uh, an array of blue trimming here and there. He'll have the lighter blue eyes, some black uh, on his chest, not that it's very well visible. Uh, in fact, his back probably has a bit more colour between the black, the silver, metallic blue, the normal blue. What I dare feel is maybe a different shade of silver, some red. So, very interesting array of colours. He does feel a bit too silvery, but he does have a lot of detailing. So, I will admit from a detailing perspective, it does... Um, complement the heavier than usual silver. Now on his head I have noticed it is a combination of the blue, silver and dark grey as well so especially on his back you can probably tell more of the dark grey. Did, did I say dark black? Dark grey. Anyway so that's his colours. Um, we've had a look at uh, around Mirage. Um, so I've definitely talked about his detailing as well. So, 
that's pretty much it as a pop final. So pop finals are pop finals. There's only so much you can do, and usually the sole novelty is the fact that sometimes their heads can spin. So you can change the orientation of their posing ever so slightly. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. I think with some of the Pokemon I did, sometimes they look really, really weird. But there you go. So that is the Mirage Pop Final. Now I'm going to put you down, Mirage. In terms of what do I think about the Mirage Pop Final. So, as I said probably about a minute ago, it's a Pop Final. Pop Final is very niche. So if you're expecting him to be equivalent of a 20 step deluxe class figure, um, you are not going to get value for money. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Pop is a pop vinyl. So with that little caveat out of the way, in terms of looks, he doesn't look bad at all. Um, the colors are nice and I do still feel he's a bit too silvery for my liking. Um, but at the same time, you could probably enhance some of the colors on his detailing just to diversify some of the silver. Um, overall, he does look very nice. Uh, the detailing is very pleasant as well. Um, I'm fence sitting on the battle mask look. It doesn't actually look too bad at all. And I think maybe I do prefer the battle mask look over his non-mask version. Um, so I guess it will really depend on your personal tastes and aesthetics. And once again, going to the comment I made earlier, yeah, if he actually uses the battle mask within the movie. For those who've seen it, obviously, you know. Um... Would I recommend getting him? Well, it really comes down to one, did you like Mirage as a character within the Beasts, Rise of the Beasts movie? Um, if you're a G1 Puritan, you're probably fence sitting already. I probably would join you. Um, but once again, that's because I've been around the hood when it comes to Transformer characters. And I'm. As a character, I'm still a little bit dubious about Mirage. But as a pop vinyl, he does look really good. If you're a pop vinyl collector and you really don't care, then you'll probably pick up the entire release wave. Otherwise, it'll really come down to personal aesthetics. I don't think I mind him too much, and I do actually quite like that. He's come out quite nicely detailed. And I do know I've made previous commentary that um, I thought the Autobots and Scourge actually ended up looking, from what I've seen, visually better compared to Primal and Rhinox, who have also been kept in their beast mode, um, which could have been half the issue. Um, so yeah, personal preference, you can either give him a miss or pick him up subject to where you find yourself sitting. And that will pretty much bring us to the end of the unboxing and review of Pop Vinyl Mirage. Uh, definitely not too bad, and I'm definitely glad I actually managed to get him out of the box, probably in the most quickest time ever. Um, in terms of unboxing, not so much the video. The video is going to be about the same length. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing and review video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel, and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, same handle as this channel. Um, there's also some shorts floating around, and as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, Optimus and Scourge have also been done at the point of recording and hopefully publishing of this video. With that being said, stay safe and take care, and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.